are guys and welcome to the stream it's tuesday night it's pegasus here back in the show and i forgot to change my um screen over we'll get that sorted in a minute now <coughs> <coughs> i do apologize i hopefully i'm not going to be doing too much of that tonight because i've still not completely got over it but i sound a hell of a lot better than what red juice does bless him he, he's suffering with um um ki um kids give us everything um symptoms as any parent would actually know. Evening, crazy kid. Welcome to the stream. Welcome in, everybody. Now, I do have a slight disclaimer. I think I might have made a little bit of a balls up with my math. But, unfortunately, we'll actually figure that one out um, a little bit later on. Because I don't think I've actually got enough to unlock um, Torres today. There's only eight shards left in the battle pass, and I'm at 25 of 34. If I've done my maths right, that's actually nine instead of eight. So I'm, it's going to kind of really buzz me up. But we can talk about her, and we can also talk about the Doctor as well. Also, the um, the Artifact um, Gallery as well has also received an update. For those of you who have noticed, there has been an actual notification placed out by Scopely. Um, I will call that up later and we'll read it and we'll talk about what um, they've actually said. But as well in the in-game news as well, they have actually put up about the um, chain, the new patch notes, that, new patch notes that have actually come out, uh, 54.1. So just move myself over as we get you going into the game. And yeah, it's per usual. Got to actually load it all from the beginning. It had it all set and everything ready, this thing. Never bloody behaves itself. So anyway, how's, how's you all been tonight? Evening, Matt. Welcome to the stream, buddy. <coughs> I will admit, I do have a drink with me, and I've just swallowed a gump full of um, cough medicine as well to make sure I'm not coughing as much. So hopefully, touch wood. Yeah. So we can actually discuss this as well, and we can actually look at our feelings on how the month is actually progressing, how we're all finding it. Me, I'm finding it a bit of... <laughs> it's like, yeah, done, done, done. So it's like all the events today I've done already is like five minutes work. So, hey, um, Think Tank, welcome to the stream, mate. So, um, now, there are a couple of um, videos I will just say off the, while we, um, oh, I don't even need to wait for that. Um, off the bat that I am working on, oh, God, yeah, I was just doing a mission as well. Um, I'm looking at a couple of videos uh, doing, um, hopefully... If I actually get them right, trying to explain hull breach and DPR, things like that, and a bit of burning, and hopefully get morale. But obviously, they are literally like the first time I'm going to be delving into... Well, it's not the first time I'm delving into something like this, because I did it with the energy weapon one. But going a little bit more in-depth with the um, game mechanic. So let's get Spock out of the way. Um, as well... Um, Torres Shard in the end, overflow, 33 out of 34. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. And if we actually look at my battle pass, you'll be able to see. I've actually got one waiting and um, I'm in the bloody way again. What's new? And there's the shards. Ugh. So, but on the upside though, I've maxed out my X-Borg. Yep, that's completely maxed. It's all done. And um, we'll also be men mentioning about these artifact... Um, schematics as well because obviously that, that is basically going to be a continuation of how we're actually going to upgrade this building we, i will be able to add an extra couple of levels to it today which is going to be a bonus so an extra 1800 and there's six shards yeah we are literally short which is hendrix now what the hell is it hendrix i, I don't recognize that system is that a formation of murder rare 44 because if that's a rare, I need to join that. Oh, but stuff that. Oh, he's, he's running a solo test. So that, that's just me, Admiral. Running a solo test. <coughs> on um, a Swarm Amada. One of those lovely Amadas that we all love to hate. So, as you can see as well, I've got all my ships in dock. They're not really doing much. Yeah. So, now, obviously we... We can jump straight into talking about the officers that we've um, got this month. We haven't, I haven't really delved much into them this month. Um, there will be the quick um, going over. Hey, John, welcome to the stream, mate. Um, quick going over in the um, 
in the grading video, which I'm going to be recording this weekend. As per usual, I will be recording it. Hey, Jerry. Uh, welcome into the stream, buddy. You might just stay awake then. Um, yeah, so I, there will, I will be recording the video again this weekend about my opinion on this month. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's not been a too bad a month. It's actually been a lot better than last month. But again, I'm, I'm not really feeling this month the best event i've seen so far this month is the data and uh, delta adversary i've actually enjoyed doing that one and it's one i actually managed to click on to the answers quite quickly without too much of a worry so um i've got a couple of obviously obviously you can see like i've got pick wharf he's uh literally so close to finishing but guess what Where, where's the sourcing for him no sourcing whatsoever Typical. Yeah, it has been slow this month. I, I will I will just say it has actually been slow. Um, I've been able to complete the events relatively quickly, which is nice because it leaves me to do other stuff like work on my Klingon reputation. Yes, I moved over to Klingon rep because I finally locked Romians at champion. Well, I, I will say one thing for that. It's cut a lot of time out of my game because I've now cut a lot of stuff out of my game. For the next um, couple of months while I actually get up there. But we will discuss that a little bit later on. If you're actually interested to know what I've caught and why I've actually caught them out. <coughs> I've got no problem with going through that if you really want to. So now let's have a quick look at the dots. Now as we know both officers that we got are below deck officers this month. So even though there were senior officers. You could sort of say Belana Torres is a below deck officer anyway. Because she works on... Um, you're working on the icon. Uh, which I which icon's that? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll call you Ark. It's easier. Last a little bit Ark. I mean, STFC Think Tank Ark. I mean, that actually lends itself to a few ideas about um, who you are. I mean, if you work for Scopely or not. <laughs> so, um, but if you do, then that's going to be brilliant. Uh Rep level icon. Oh, right. Yeah, right. In the, oh, yeah. Yeah. G5 ships. Yeah, I know which one you're on about now. So, just a... It's been a foggy couple of weeks, and I've got another bad couple of weeks coming up. Because the kids are on half term, starting from Friday. And the worst bit is, it falls on Arkfall as well. Yes. Arkfall. The kids are off. Go away. I need to record a video that morning. So anyway, <laughs> hopefully um, it'll be all right. So we'll be able to record Voyager Part 2's um, arc notes. Because I guarantee, I don't think part this is going to be it, Part 1. I'm, I'm expecting at least three months of this. So hopefully they're going to give some slightly better officers next week. But anyway, the Doctor. Now, uh, in the um, greater video, I will show a screen the cre screenshots of comparison. Oh, but me now. Both Fred and Rom. Jesus Christ. You're really going for the rep ride in there, Ark. Um, but I will show the comparison of him with 5 of 11, who is his main bridge officer. The six mouth of this. Six mouth? Is that six month or... Hang on. You and another one opposite ends of the keyboard. So, <laughs> opposite lines. So, uh, <coughs> different lines. That's what I'm looking for. But yeah, so uh, the Doctor is basically a prepared version, down version of Five of Eleven, um, and obviously this is the in, this is the um, part that we are all interested in is his resources dropped by hostiles. So this is literally a PVE Amadas, um, a six month arc. Yeah, I very, very much doubt they'll do six months. I mean, let's take a look at TNG. First four months weren't particularly too bad. The fifth month was absolutely shite. So, I mean, it was the worst ending to the TNG saga for this game. But if it's going to be a six-month arc... Wow. Um, what are they planning for Christmas? Because <laughs> I really don't know. Because I know we've got um, Strange New World starting next month. Yes! Season 2 of Strange New Worlds, I really can't wait. And don't worry, I won't put spoilers on the channel. But yeah, I mean, six months. It is a six month. Wow. That is... Oh, God. I mean, 
I've not really kept up with the story arc so far, but um, yeah, um, I unlocked the Doctor and can upgrade him after the last milestone. He is every day on a lower day. Yeah, I mean, I take it, Matt, you're finding him absolutely useful. I mean, what, tier two, that's going to be, what, a 20% a uh, boost now on the Mantis and for the Talios? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the one thing is what you have to watch out for is your stat levels on that one. And it's one thing I've kind of noticed. If you actually do think about your stat levels and your... Yeah, 20%. That's what I thought it was. Um, yeah, you think about your stat levels. I mean, it's in the minute, my ships are not maxing out their stats all the time by me using Hugh and then when I need to with Galena. Um But, yeah. So, you just have to watch out the... Adding all these lower deckers in now, and with the fact that there's actually no source in, it's making it very difficult to know. Do you should you really risk using them at the time, or should you upgrade your ships to be just that little bit better? Me, I'm choosing that option at the minute. I've sent my Valdor and my um, Kelvin both to tier five. Uh, no, sorry, tier six. I need them to tier seven to get them to level thirty-five. To open up an extra officer slot. So, but luckily, the one thing that is really helping at the minute as well. Uh, my TV on uh, only two seats on lower decks. Oh, Valius, yeah. Uh, uh, Talios, yeah. Uh, big nurse, so when you, when you can pick. Yes, I did see that arc, and I'm actually going to mention that as well in just a moment. Because um, I just watched Rev Juice's video, and it was nice to actually see that added. So we will bring that up, and we will discuss the metaphasic um, rotation as well. Uh, Gush and Doctor sits there. <laughs> oh, that's good. Gush is a good all-round officer. Um, his stats for all three um, areas are actually pretty decent, especially when you got him maxed. So... But yeah, so the Doctor starts at 15%. Next one is 20%. For those of you who can get him to tier 2. I did try going for him in the last round of the SLB. Yeah. Okay. Didn't quite have enough materials. But the one thing I was proud of was the new heroic style SMS. That is how the heroic SMS should be. Mult at least six to, 6 to 8 levels. And they get progressively harder. I managed to get, what? <coughs> about... Uh, I think I got to about four or five, somewhere in there. Not many for the shards, though. But it was actually nice to get that high. But, yeah, I, I really thought with the nine points that I was needed, I was never going to actually complete it. But, the, to be honest, if I'd have actually got higher, it would have actually got me closer to actually unlocking the Doctor. Maybe even potential unlocking him by the end of this month. But... Alas, it's never going to happen. Actually, I think there is a way I can unlock Bologna this month. And unfortunately, it's the overflow. You got 15 shards from the heroic. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Did you go out and buy him then, Mark? That's the question I'm going to ask. Did... And if you did, thank you. Because your spending in the game means Scopely can put that money back into the game. Hopefully. <laughs> and actually try and make some new content. <coughs> what that content will be... I ain't got a clue because it's probably going to end up being next year. All the content for the rest of this year is or as as way I understand it. This works with Scopely. I, I'm not completely sure. This is not me saying for definite, but I think the the twelve months is already planned. Anything beyond twelve months is on the drawing board. Anything over six months is in. Uh, anything over three months, I would presume is in production and being created and built, all the stuff being put together. Hence the reason why we have so many different arc runners every single month. It would be nice if we just had like the one arc runner who ran the entire story from month one through to month X. But alas, it doesn't work that way. We have multiple arc runners, uh, money only for the battle pass. All right, okay. So you must have scored pretty well in the SL SLBs then. To unlock um, the Doctor already. Because I, I can't think of any other way you'd have done it free to play. Because if, if you have, please tell me what I bloody missed. Because then I could have unlocked him. But that, alas, that's what it is. 
But yeah, so the Doctor is actually a relatively good officer to put below deck. And as uh, Mark's just mentioned in chat, stick him on the below deck of your Talios and your Mantis with Galanar. Yeah, you, you, you're you going to make it so much easier. First place in the SLB. Nice one. Congratulations on that one. I only wish I could get there. Unfortunately, I'd never have that materials. I must have dropped about 33,000 just upgrade uncommon materials just upgrading my Valdor and my um, Kelvin. So, and it's only a small amount, really. Now, the Doctor's Officer's ability, yeah, t take it as you will. It obviously does scale up. I believe the top level for Tier 5 is 2,000%. That's quite a, quite a lot, really. Don't even try, Jerry. What, what do you mean? I've already done it, mate. If you want to buy my Valdor and my Kelvin, I've already done it. <coughs> so, but it is it is my intention to take them up eventually. So they'll probably be tier seven before I go ops the ops forty five. So that is the kind of plan. In theory, don't think it's going to actually work because I've got a load of research to get through. Ah, oh, right. The others don't really spend. Yeah, well, the one thing is if players don't really spend in the game, then yeah. That's then you are. Uh, try and get all oh, right in events, no chance. <coughs> Weaker than the lottery. Um, in your country, I don't know how the lottery works, but in in the UK, yeah, definitely. I mean, Jerry's one of our friends from the EU. He's in my alliance as well. Um, um great player, great guy. Love chatting with him when I when I actually do jump into chat. So. Because <laughs> lately I've not been in chat. I'm a little bit, a little bit sore at the minute. But hey ho, that's something I'll get over eventually. But anyway, the doctor, um, yeah, <sighs> for two rounds, is, is he actually worth the putting him on the bridge? I really don't know. I couldn't say. I mean, it, it looks like it's pretty good. I mean, maybe for sticking him against the gold hostiles, yeah. I'll even take one of them on tonight. It's called the Hostile Captain 52. Yes, I'll even take one of them on. And just see how good we are. Uh, made thousands on the lottery by not playing it over the years. Yeah, John, I know exactly what you mean. Unfortunately, I spent it on other stuff like um, school clothes, shoes. Yeah, toys for the kids. <coughs> not that they ever appreciated them because um, they break them. But then again, I think I used to do the same when I was their age too. But that was a long, long time ago when toys were actually made to last. It was very difficult to break them. Now all you have to do is just sort of like flick one. Hey, I've got three kids myself. I've got a teenager who's, um, she's got into Yu-Gi-Oh, um, which is good for her. So she's um, actually done um, a couple of... Um, Crazy, is that you, B is, that, is that you, BF? Is that you? Because you're the only one, because that's the only one Swarm Armada I remember running. Uh, uh, seen one on our server at the minute. And you just survived it, so well done. That's, that's, that's awesome. So, can't, can't wait to see you boast about that one in Discord. Um, got the second SLB, I got the sixth place, so 20 shards. That's not too bad there, Mark. So that's definitely going to get you up there and help you out uh, with the Doctor. But yeah, so th this one, I'm, yeah, I thought, I thought it was. I thought it was. As soon as you mentioned Swarm Armada, and considering we've just seen that on screen, yeah, it was you. So that's me, Admiral. So... <laughs> so I'm going to try not to laugh too much because otherwise I will end up on the floor in a coughing fit and trust me you don't want to hear it it's not nice um, but yeah so I don't know I mean I suppose somebody could make an argument for putting the officer on the um, putting the officer putting uh, the doctor on the bridge um, but yeah I don't know but the one thing is where we definitely want to is at the minute it's going to be below deck but like I said Watch out for your stats. 
<coughs> make sure you can you got decent stats on your ships. And that's what I will say with him. So the next soft soft we've got is BLT. Now, as we've just seen, yeah, I'm one shard shot. Yeah, it is a, it is a rare, rare occasion. But don't worry about it. Everyone's welcome anytime that they can get on. So, but yeah. Bolana Torres. I was really, really hoping to put, get her out today and actually show you this ability. The hull breach. Now, I don't know how this hull breach is going to work. I'm guessing it's going to happen if, if it procs. Pretty much every round, it can happen any time during the game. And it's not just limited to one proc per combat. If it's limited to one proc per combat, then I think we've got a serious problem. But, hopefully not. Now, again, I will show you her stats during the um, grading arc video. Where I will put it up, providing STFC is actually, you know, going to behave. Um the community managers had put out an announcement about the S about it. Because <coughs> obviously, I don't know what Scopely did, but they copped it up. They screwed it up. Say no more. So, but anyway, applying 10% chance to apply a whole breach to non-player hostiles or armadas for one round. Now, that sounds good. To apply the whole breach means you don't have to fly with like Gorkan or uh, Gorkan, yeah, Gorkon or Lorca on the bridge, which means you could basically put her on like I don't know, um, for the lower levels when you finally get into doing your solo armadas, you could put her on like your Saladin or your Gladius or the Bortus. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say put the intrepid in there, or maybe like your D4, or yeah, your D4. I won't recommend the auger because the auger doesn't require burning, whereas the D4 requires hull breach. So this could be a good thing for the D4. At least you're gonna get when it does proc, you're gonna get two weapons firing. Unfortunately, the other two don't actually benefit from hull breach unless you pox in the second on the second round. So yeah. It looks like it's going to be good. 10% chance out of the box. Very small. This could be one of those officers that potentially you're going to need around tier 4 to actually, you know, see any benefit and actually working. But, like I said, unfortunately, because we're not going to get her unlocked today, it will be joining the outflow, which is in about, it'll either be tomorrow or the day after. There will be a video coming out showcasing Bologna. Now, her officer ability is when you take damage from the hostiles or armada, she increases your piercing stat by 250% for one round. Yay. Pit. The chance to get that extra bit of um, stabbing ability. Yeah. It, piercing is another thing that I'm going to have to look eventually into, trying to figure out how it works and how to calculate it. Yeah. There's a lot I've got to learn in when it comes to the math side of things. So, um, she's not in the overflow, you think? Oh, if she's not in the overflow, then I'm buggered because I'm not going to be able to get her. She's not super great, but she's okay. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I mean, is Rose Dawson, was that? I know Dawson. <coughs> um... Rose Dawson. No, that that was Titanic, wasn't it? That 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 was um, yeah, that that was the Tita that was Titanic in ninety seven. Um, but yeah, I know I know a son the actress's name surname Dawson's Creek. Yeah, I, I know the actress's uh, surname is Dawson. I, I just can't remember her first name. Somebody has uh, googled it. Please drop it. Roxanne, thank you very much, Roxanne Dawson. A lovely lady. She's actually pretty nice looking as well, to be honest. Didn't rate much of her when Voyager was released, but now I'm older. Yeah, okay, she's not too bad. So, it's amazing how your mind changes in um, 10, 15 years. <coughs> but they do say that the brain changes every seven years. Why every seven years? I don't know, but hey, we're human. We're not exactly um, straightforward. 
So, yeah. Again, is it is you going to be worth putting on the bridge, taking up one of those bridge slots? Not really, not in my opinion. Piercing stats are all well and good against battleships because you can get because you can go for more against those armor. <laughs> okay, John. Okay, <laughs> um, but yeah. So <coughs> again, yeah, probably not off, not not sticking on the bridge in my opinion. I think the one time she actually did command Voyager was join the um, the R and R and R. Where they ended up um, taking on that big Sumkotsi vessel. Um, she was just minding the store while Janeway would flew off in, into another system with a few crew members. And um, Chakotay what, go, went down to watch Alien Fisticuffs. So, but yeah, so definitely a blow, blow deck. But again, you're still relying on her ability to actually proc. Um, yeah. That, that, that's what I was thinking. Uh, tier four upwards as a as an ideal for this officer. Now, obviously, what's the sourcing going to be like after the after the arc? Pretty much the same as the rest of them that I've not even unlocked. Shite, non-existent. The fact that I've got even Picard there and I can't even upgrade him, and I've not even leveled up the Borg Queen to level five. She's still stuck at um. What would Neelix be in game? Um, I've heard Neelix mentioned, and some people say he will be morale. Um, a, um, he'll be a Bolana, but for morale. My opinion for Neelix is he needs to be a cannon fodder, cannon fodder character, where you just hang him outside your base and say, hey, he was, he was a shot. But, I mean, Neelix had his... He's good qualities. I do feel sorry for Ethan Phillips who played him. He got a bit of a doozy character, especially in the first couple of seasons with um, Kez. <coughs> like the movie Gone with the Wind. Yeah. I, I would say say that. Um, but yeah, he was a bit of a doozy. Obviously, I, I, he was very annoying. Um, but I, I think he... He started growing as he, as he got... Further on, um, I didn't unlock Picard in one year. No, it, it took me a lot longer to unlock Picard as well, and Jailer. So, but I, I mean, I've, I managed to get Jailer to tier two now. But to be perfectly honest, because I don't actually do Swarm anymore at the minute. Yeah, she's just sat in. She's just sat in the mess all with her feet up, drinking as many different alien booze um, beverages as she can get her hands on. But yeah, so Neelix, I, I would say he would probably be a morale one, considering that his character took on a morale officer base, um, as well as a cook, um, an ambassador, um, a general pain in the ass. Um, no Tindy. Oh, he, Tindy is miles more entertaining. She's annoying. She's one of those annoying ones. But she's entertaining. Whereas Neelix wasn't. Next act will be Janeway and Seven of Nine. Mm. You're dropping a few things here, Ark. You're dropping a few things here. Um, Janeway. Maybe. Because they have sort of broken with, um, they have sort of broken with tradition and how they do the arcs. Because usually, when a new IP arc drops, they drop the main character, like TNG, uh, Picard, Strange New Worlds was Pike, DS9 was Voyager, uh, Voyager, DS9 was uh, Cisco. They always drop the main character in the first month, but this month. We haven't. Is this arc two or three months long? They'd probably wait to use for those two if there was in the third month. <coughs> um, no, I mean, I've, I've heard it put that it's going to be six months long. Um, but now I think Janeway will come along soon. My concern is what they're going to do about Voyager. And 
we, we, we can go around, do conspiracies and throw ideas about what they're going to do with Voyager till we're blue in the face. And what the fuck is that music? Let's get rid of that one. Let's have some music, please. Not some bloody funny noises. Um, six month long arc. Oh. Three arc. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more fair to say, arc. It'll be a three month. And uh, if, James, if it was a six month, yes, I would highly suspect there would be a event store at the end of it. God, hope the bloody would be, because this is one way I'm going to get the Doctor. Um, but, I mean, then again, the other offices that they could release could end up holding a better value for me. The ship is coming in um, part three. Okay, I, now, I, I really think you are really dropping, I mean... Either you're dropping a load of red herons, or you're dropping more information than... Yeah, now, you, now you're pushing it. Two event stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, because of the end of the arc store. Yeah. And so you're dropping an awful lot there, even more than the NDA content. I mean, I, I'm in a, a Discord with the NDA content creators, and they won't even drop any type of information like that with us. Um, um, no, the only Star Trek she's actually appeared in, um, where she has actually a credited um, appearance, is Prodigy. It's the only one she's actually appeared in. And I watched the last two episodes of season one for Prodigy, uh, Supernovas part one and two. And it was nice to actually watch the Federation fleet getting teared to shreds. Um, it, well, it was nice. It was a bit sad, but it was nice at the same time. And you also got to see how the Enterprise E failed. Now, we got a hint it, on the last episode. Was it the last? No, sorry. Episode nine of... Um, hey, Matthew, welcome to the stream, mate. I'm feeling better, but not not complete, not 100% yet. Um, episode 9 of Picard Season 3, when obviously um, Worf mentioned that the, what happened to the Enter Enterprise-E was not his fault. But yet in Prodigy, we saw what had happened to the Enterprise-E, and it was clearly there. And um, she was basically, Oh, you just know a lot more than you should. Are you one of these VIPs, mate? Are you one of... You've got to be a VIP. Because I know VIPs get access to a lot more information. No, Mike. I think Janeway will be coming. Janeway will be coming because he always put the main captain in the arc. So they, they've not once done it. Yeah, just what I thought, mate. Just what I thought. <laughs> I'm pretty good at reading between the lines. I'm pretty good at that one. So, um, so they, there you have it. You've had a, a, a few uh, things dropped. I mean, we'll probably recap at the end of the um, show uh, what what we've learned. Um, but yeah, so Janeway will definitely be coming. <coughs> Voyager ship itself should be coming, and I hope, hope to God. It's not a flipping support ship. I have had enough of support ships. The next one, obviously, out the dock is going to be for me. And it's not going to be the same for free to play, all free to play players. It depends on how you played the clock. Yes, the clock. The Titan. Obviously, is on a 22 hour cooldown. I have been playing a 22 hour cooldown. I'm at 51, 51 or 52 shards. So, which means I'm looking for a launch date around about the 9th of July. Whereas most other free-to-play players will be looking around about the 12th. <coughs> you want some bad news? Yeah, everything you said is um, a lie. Uh, not a lie, is, a tw is um, pulling our leg. You're winding us up. I bet that's the bad news. Trust me, I've heard a lot, lot of um, stuff... Uh, in the real world at the minute, which makes me want to cry. But then again, I just end up shouting at YouTube. So, 
uh, the various YouTube videos that I actually watch. Um, but yeah, so, and no, Rev Juice is not one of the videos I shout at. Do you think Scofield will bring in a monthly sub <coughs> as a go between free to play and spenders? It's possibly a support. Sh oh my god. A support? What else could they support? Oh, yeah. Formation of Madders. I bet that's I bet that's what it will be. It'll be to support formation of murders. Um, I mean, if it is, I w it's like, are you taking the freaking piss? Stop giving us support ships. All right, bro, no problem. Um, uh, will they bring in a sub? To be honest with you, mate, it's not a bad suggestion. <coughs> but there are also players in the game who, quite frankly, don't want to spend a penny on the game. Now, I've run this idea around in my head numerous times. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, uh, did not did not struggle to get the time to define. I'm just tired of support. Yeah. Um, I'm getting tired of support ships. Uh, World of Tanks done it 99 to get some benefits. Yeah, and I can see how that would work. Scopely would, wouldn't... I don't think they'll do it because I'd be worried too much you'd cut into their bottom line because um, they'll see that play the Dolphins in the game or the very light spenders like myself uh, will stop spending and it will drop their how much money they get. Um, but yeah, it's like, Jerry, yeah, a lot of players have not spent a penny in the game and they'll basically blatantly refuse to spend a penny in the game and that that's their prerogative that's entirely fine if i had my way i wouldn't spend but the one thing is i want that elite battle pass i want those extra rewards so i mean it's like extra 1800 in uh ball credits this month yee so and yes i do have a ship mining uh pass deal and i'll show you why i'm actually mining the pass deal we have three we have <coughs> we had three nodes here, or pass deal. I've cleared one of them out. Still got two to do. But the problem is, there's players out there with bigger ships than me who can actually reach these with better miners, but nobody's decided to drain these pass deal and change them over to concentrated latinum ever since they were released into the game back in February last year. So that's like 14 months these have sat at pass deal. And nobody's changed them over. So I thought, you know what? I'm actually going to change them to over to Concentrated Latinum. Yeah, it's going to give me an extra million or so. An extra few million of pass deal. Woo -hoo. But, <coughs> yeah. Bloody hell. It's cost really getting me. But yeah, so I decided I'm actually going to mine them. If somebody comes and pops me OPC, I don't care. So uh, they release multiple level prime money. Oh, freaking hell. Don't even get me started on that. I absolutely loved the first pay point I saw at £5. Um, it, here we go. This one here. Just to do level one. Just under a fiver. Just under a fiver. <coughs> right, just one second. I'm going to have to turn the mic off while I do this. Here we go. Sorry about that. I just just get that cleared. It's probably not finished. But yeah, so five quid just to get this pack. And then the other one as well is also a five pound. But, but, yes, there's always a bloody button here somewhere. So it is the efficient mining one. Uh, don't get a sense for this behave. No. And it was really tempting. But the one thing is... I'm literally brassic by the minute. I've still got about two weeks until um, I get paid again. So, yeah, I've, I've literally got no money and we're running out of food. So, at some point, we're probably going to have to ask a member of the family if we can just borrow some money just to top up the freezer. Um, but, unfortunately, that comes with... Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into it because it's all politics. So, but anyway, um, 
Now where's his packs? <coughs> um oh okay. I'm get Where? <laughs> Don't do them. Yeah, I mean, abs I I'd actually completely agree. I mean, I can't even find. I mean, wow, there's um, new packs in here. Here we go. That's the Xborg faction one. That's not the one I want. Galactic Marder pack. Hmm. But anyway, um, yeah. So. There, there. Why have I? Why I've got the five pound ones? Because there is the ninety pound one or a hundred dollars if you from our friends across the sea. Um, they give you the first five levels, but then it's a hundred dollars for the for each consecutive level afterwards. Yeah, good idea. And I really hate the idea of leveling primes. And I am actually in agreement with both Tiberius and Rev on this one. And probably DJ said the same thing as well. If you have a Prime, it's one level, that's it. And it gives you that bigger boost. That's it. You don't make it multiple level. And what it is, those Primes are just Scopely's way of making players spend more so they get more money. And it's just pure and utter greed in my opinion. Pure and utter greed. It's not for the benefit of the game. Well, actually, it does benefit the game. But, and it benefits Scopely's pocket better. But, does it benefit the player's pocket? I mean, here in the UK, obviously, for those of you who do live in the UK, you've heard of the cost of living crisis that we've currently got. I'm presuming across in the States, it's something similar. Where people are struggling to make ends meet. But yet they're going to charge up to $1,200. For a leveling prime. For two leveling primes. Yeah, bad move Scopely. Very bad move. But, now is this the one? That, no, this is not the one I saw. Um, so that's the Galactic Mad Pack. Um, it's probably up near the front, isn't it? I don't have it. Oh yeah, some will pay. And <coughs> those players, I, if they want to spend, then that's entirely their prerogative. They can go spend that kind of money. And they will go spend that kind of money. So, that's an interesting shield. Let's have a look at this pack. Mate. <coughs> Elite, we, oh right, okay, so... That's unusual. <coughs> so, I do apologise and my throat's really kicking off. So, that, that that's interesting. But this new Galactic Amada pack, I mean, I... I've not even seen it. I don't even think I've got it. That's unusual. Oh no, trust me, you don't want to come shopping with me. I'm as tight as a, I'm as tight as a duck's ass. Literally. I'm as tight as a duck's ass. Every time the same and you can hear the song Money 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 from my Yeah. You can. Um now that that pack, because Rev actually released a video showing this. Ah <coughs> uh, yes. It's potentially a web store one only. Because it's got metaphasics in it. This is not the web store. So, and the web store's a bit of a pain in the ass for me to log into lately. Uh, tighter than two coats of... Yeah, exactly. Um. So, but the new pack basically was con containing the multiphasics tokens. Now, for those of you who are wondering what metaphasic tokens are... If we go over to here. <coughs> Metaphasic tokens are this um, this credit that you'll actually get. Night, Matthew. Thank you for joining us. 
Um, who basically, if you buy, if you're on a PC, obviously you're going to have the web store or the PC version of those packs. And in them, you'll also get a load of metaphasics. Now, around about for the £90, $100 packs, you will get... Sorry. <coughs> I swear, viral infections are not very nice. But anyway, as I was saying, for those £90, $100 packs... You'll get roughly around about 14,000 metaphasic pa uh, tokens in them. If you go for the... <coughs> if you go for the £20 ones, you'll get a lot less, but it's still... <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Fucking Christ. Oh, I've, I've already necked a, a fair whack of cough medicine just before I came on stream. But basically these metaphasic powers you can bring into this store here when you do actually get them and you can actually go buy these packs. Now these are prepared downsized packs of packs that are actually in the in-app store. And obviously if you go spend money in there <coughs> Yeah. Oh I, I don't do tea with honey, I do hot lemonade with lemons and honey. So yeah, add the lemons for extra lemon in a lemonade. Woo! Where's the logic? I don't know, but it's a it's an old wise tale. Um, well, yeah. So you're bringing metaphysics in, and like I said, these are prepared um, prepared down packs. They're not particularly too bad. They're not exactly the best by all me by any sh stretch of the imagination, but <clears throat> they are not too bad. I primarily come in here for like the latinum. Or, as we've got, like, the um, Syndicate um, uh, Heroic SMS, I come and get this and get a little bit of a boost towards my Syndicate XP. 570. It's not particularly that bad. A cost of 500 each. Oh, uh, it's there. But there is also a piece of research as well in the Galaxy... Uh, was it the Galaxy Tree? I think it was a Galaxy Tree that actually required... No, it's not the Galaxy Tree. It was the Ship Combat Tree. <coughs> if we just go into the R&D, you see I've got a lot of buildings as well that are waiting for upgrades. Go into the combat tree, do 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 do, and I don't think it's this one actually. Nope, it's not this one. <sighs> Trust me not to be able to remember where something is. No, not that one. It was across the bottom, I remember that much. Okay, maybe. Surely it's got it one in the galaxy tree. Ah, it, it was in the galaxy tree. This particular research here. It requires, uh, what was it? I think it was around about 14,000 um, metaphasic tokens to do. Yeah. Not rodidium, not resources, not materials. Metaphasic tokens and as you can see this is a prime this is what a prime should be one level big boost <coughs> and i'm not kidding you i really do apologize for the coffin this is an awesome piece of research when it comes to leveling up your ships especially for those in the g4 and the g5 it might be small but it's bloody beefy when it really gets out there Maybe data. So many of them. <coughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's a pain in the backside to remember where your research is. I mean, as well, you've got like this. I'm Christ G6 materials. I'm Rodidium. Hey! But I'd, I'd actually like something like that to increase the speed of mining. But, alas... Yeah, not gonna not gonna get that one anywhere anytime soon. <coughs> so it is a it is a, a but, so, <coughs> 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 
6700 Ah, right, okay. So it's a bit cheaper than I thought it was. They re they realised it was that cheap. <laughs> um, I remember going to buy a £90 pack. Um, my missus wouldn't speak to me for a couple of days for it. Peace and quiet. But hey-ho. But I got that re I got that piece of research out of it, so I'm happy. So something towards my game progression and everything. <coughs> oh, I did take some rhodidium, did it? Okay, fair do then. So right, um, I'm just trying to think where I'm at now. With all this coughing, I'm getting a bloody headache, and I'm forgetting where I am. So yeah. So the metaphasic particles are a brilliant addition to the game, but unfortunately you do need to go into the web store. Now you can even go through the web store through the, I've got a link to Scopely, um, the STFC website in my Discord, in the, um, I can't remember what bloody title it's under now. <coughs> How bad is that? I don't even know my own Discord. Very bad content creator. So, oh, i just got to wait for the, Bloody tablet to catch up with me. Here we go. Yeah, it's taking a sweet time. Um, so it's under external links, and it was called, and it's all, all under the subtitle other game links. If you go and click on that, if you go and click on that, at the bottom is um, the homepage for Star Trek Fleet Command. Click on that. Go to the website. Sign in. And you can buy your um, packs in there if you're not on a PC. If you're on a PC, use the the gold button up the top there or one out that says sale. So that's how you're going to find it. Now, <coughs> while we're talking about um, some things that Scopely have done, we also got the, uh, some patch note updates. Yay! Unfortunately, nothing additional added to the game. We've got a couple of improvements. Obviously, the artifacts were changed for, on the artifact gallery from being gallery level based. Now changing to your ops level. And obviously, we will go into that in a minute. <coughs> uh, you can upgrade your artifact gallery because the upgrading event is in the home. Yeah, I would say we'll, I'll be adding a, um, another level or two to that the, this evening. Um... <coughs> yeah, so adding also adding a scroll into tooltips. Not quite sure where that it actually is, but okay, fair dues. But also there was a lot of um, improve um, bug fixes that they actually fixed, and I'm also pleased to say that they also sorted out um, Strange New World Lalans below deck ability, the cargo increasing. Um, Description. Obviously, she was working correctly, but it was displayed incorrectly, and that dis that in it the that incorrect display in the description was translated onto your cargo capacity. So obviously, when you were filling up your cargo, you ended up with just that small portion. You could just not fill no matter what. Now that's fixed, which is absolutely good. Um, in two days, I can unlock level twenty-four. Get enough shards, 5.11. Up <coughs> to level 15. Nice. Uh, mine's already tier 3. And this event has actually... Um, I don't know why i just done that, because I still need it. Um, it's, it's actually made a, a vast improvement, going from 40% to 60% rewards. So, definitely one to enjoy. Um, obviously, we've got a number of bug fixes, uh, other bug fixes as well, as you can see on the screen. Um... There is the um, patch notes on the web store. So, yeah. If you really, really, really want to check them out. It's here. Check it out in game. Check it out on the web store. It's all there. So, obviously, I'm not going to go into them too much. So, uh, obviously, we're going to upgrade this building. Let's get that generator out of the way. So, let's not overdo my spending on latinum because I'm already way over 
I decided to try and bang out some research today and yeah, I didn't get very far. So <coughs> which is a which is um a bit of a boo-boo. So right, so we've got 21. So let's just clear that one off. Hey, I can do at least one more level. Yay, I can go to 23. So we're going to get that one sorted out. There we go. And that's it. That's as much as we can actually do for this month. Obviously, if we want to claim any more, then we need to be going into the... Um, let's get the banner out of the way. Bonus Artifact Restoration or the Normal Artifact Restoration. Now, as you see by the timers, unfortunately, I've got a day and a half. So it's going to be Thursday, the earliest before I can actually pull any more, which is a bit of a bugger. But I do have some of the uh, premium tokens in which I can actually go in here and actually buy some of these. But unfortunately, in these premium ones, you will not find any of these schematics to upgrade um, the, the building. Sadly, they're only available... Hey, uh, welcome back. They're actually only in the um, artifact restoration chests. Um, you obviously at the minute I've got two 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 lines there. <coughs> One's only available for another five uh, five days, eighteen hours, including that. But in one of them, I'll get fifty schematics, and in the other one, I'll get seventy. Um, next events on the twenty seventh. Uh, yeah, that's Delta Adversary, um, Adversary, which we will discuss in just shortly. Because um, that's what, one of the events I've absolutely enjoyed doing. It didn't take too long to do. You know, you've got to know your map. I will say that you've got to know how everything's laid out on your maps to actually figure it out. But yeah, so what we're going to do is, we've only got the 1,000. I'm going to pull it, see what we get. Okay, so... Okay, so fair too. So not nothing of actual worth for me at current. So obviously you can see the first four that I've actually got. Um, I've just got it up to 23, mate. So, and the next one obviously I'll be getting is this one, which is um, for mining ore. Woohoo! <coughs> uh, yeah. I've already got the other two, so, and the cargo capacity and cargo increase. So that's also um, good. That will explain my ordinary divorce boost to cargo. Nice one. Fortunately, it'll be a long time before I get to 40. A long time. So, cause it, I, to be honest, I don't think I'll be running um, formation armadas very often. At least once a week, maybe. But that'll be about it. <coughs> Oh, here we go. Station event. Woohoo! <coughs> so, yeah. Can't do much else with that. Unfortunately. So, yeah. So, let's just claim this away team. What are we going to get? Ah, just a success. Oh, yeah. It does give you some great power. So, um, if we actually take a look at it... Um, Obviously, your artifact token bonus is obviously going to improve as you um, level it up. Your hull health, your shield health as well. They are also going to receive some nice boosts. So, yeah. Pretty good. I'm happy. Keep, well, it'll keep me happy for a while. But the, pro the problem is, though, is what I'm trying to figure out is... Yeah, there is so many murders, Jerry. And I think Rev Juice had a list. He, he did it up in his Discord. We have, for better or for worse, 15 types of murders. 15. Why? Why do we need so many murders? Mess all the way. But, yo, I'm absolutely loving the mess all. Absolutely loving the mess all. As you can see here, I can send mine up to 48 now. So it's going to give me an extra, what, 7% bon weapon bonus damage. Um, officer stat bonus is going to go up by another 8%. 
Um, cost efficiency for tritanium for components is just going to go up by another 3%. Eh, 3%. Uh. <coughs> oh, yeah, the weapon's damage, definitely. Research speed is going to be increased by another 8%. Yay, so just 8% faster. But as well, what I'm also going to say is, remember that these are all based on base level. They're not based on all your research as well. They're just base level. That is it. So if your ship fires a thousand, um, does a thousand damage, adding seven percent on it, that's only going to add an extra seventy to that. So when you when you think about it, going from one thousand to one thousand and seventy, uh, one thousand and seventy, it's not an awful lot. So, yeah. And it doesn't translate into the research, neither. It does not translate into the research. But... Yeah. I, I, I don't know what else I can say about that one. But, obviously, with a... Uh, currently standing at a... <coughs> and Abba is back. Yeah, Abba is back. Uh, but standing at 172%. So, basically, I'll be taking that 1,000... And I'll basically be, yeah, increasing it by what? 17 times at least? No, it's 1.7. So that's an extra 1,720 on top, making that 2,720. That one shot. Now that's actually not too bad. Over double the weapons fire. Yeah, okay. So, but we'll throw that in for upgrading. <coughs> Jerry, you're talking over 200. In fact, I think you'd probably be closer to three, 400, maybe. No, three, around about three to 350 different currencies in the game. Whether they've all been spent... Or whether you just got like odd ones lying around. There is that many. Best idea since warm water. It is and it is to give every it is to give us all just that boost. And I do like the way as well that the mess hall is linked not to your ops level, but to actual your the level of officers of the grand total. None that you can't kill. What level in, in game are you, Ark? Because you're sounding like you're a level 60 player. Or maybe at least a 55. Somewhere in there. 56. That's not bad, that. That's actually pretty good. I, I, it's going to be years before I get to 56. I mean the way I'm the way I'm progressing at the minute, I think I'm gonna be forty six by Christmas, like I was hoping for. Oh, I bet they're expensive to run. Spaceships, I bet they're expensive to run. Very expensive. I mean I'm I'm I hate the fact that my Valdor and my Kelvin alone are costing me so much in Tritanium for repairs. <coughs> Level 65 hostiles. Um, I don't know. Do we have level 65 hostiles in the game? I thought the highest level would be 60. At least. 10 billion to repair. Ow! That, that's just like... There, there is. Oh my god. Um... 10 billion repair. That's just literally... That's, that would just like clean me out. Absolutely clean me out with titanium. I've had to put all my tokens in the seat um, today. Because I'd lit, because of the upgrades to the Kelvin and the... Um, the Valdor. It just wiped me out with titanium. One trillion to upgrade one part. Jesus Christ. I, I can't wait for me to be able to get them. 
I, at most, the closest I've ever got to a trillion is the past year. I got that up to like 750,000. Uh, 750 billion, sorry. Yeah, okay, not there right now. It's going to take me months to get that back. But then again, I've got upgrades to do. As you can see by the number of green lights around my base. So, but I'll, I'll get it back up there eventually. <coughs> so, so let's move on to the Delta Adversary. Why? Why are we still freaking attacking worms? I mean, it's, it's easy for me. Two kills and I'm done. That's the battle pass done. Um. Oh, yeah. Mark, I definitely would stay put at 39 for a while. Even if you're there for a year. You don't, technically, you won't have to be there for a year, given the economy nowadays. But I'd really also build yourself up. Make sure your ships are up to a decent level. Bloody hell. <coughs> I would love a hundred... Uh, 100 trillion in the bank, but unfortunately, I keep putting them into my base. And then nobody comes to raid me. My shield's down quite a lot of the time, but usually I'm online, so. And as we see, the buddy um, lag's kicking in again. So, Delta Adversary. Now, for those of you who read the um, in-game news uh, when it was released uh, last week, uh, not Saturday just gone, the Saturday before. Um, I need 11 months now. <coughs> 11 months, mate. You should have more than enough. You should definitely be at a point. You, you could literally pretty much run to level 42. And then stop there for a little bit. So. <coughs> um. No, base raiding is not as usual as it used to be. It's it's died a crib death. And my problem with base raiding is it takes too bloody long to actually drain a base. Way too long. If you can't drain a base in five minutes, ten at the very outside... What's the point? As long as you have the rep, move up. Yeah, I was saying, you can, you can move up after you've got the rep. Um, but the one thing is, when you move into G4, the G3 materials drop off badly. So if you've got any stuff that needs G3 stuff, get it done while you're at 39. Because you, 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 you're going to be getting the most G3 that you can possibly get. The G4 commons as well, you can work on building them up. You're not going to be getting an awful lot, if any. But you will be able to start building them up pretty quickly. So. Alright, 11 months to get to 39. That's actually not too bad, that. Not too bad. A year. So it's like, if I started the game over again, if I went through that path on free-to-play, 12 months... Would get me back to Ops 40. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. <coughs> so, but then again, I don't want to lose everything I've done on this account so far. So, uh, welcome Archimedes to the Discord. So, I've just seen you dropping in. Oh, I remember Archimedes. Yes, I remember. I remember chatting with you one day on Web's um, Discord. So, yes, welcome in, mate. Um, but yeah, base raiding is. If it takes you more than ten minutes to raid a base, it's not worth the time. It's literally not worth the time. I mean, it's like I I don't want to be wasting hours and hours trying to drain a base. And this is why I think the amalgam, while it while it's pretty good at attacking, draining some of those big bases and pulling billions out from the bases with trillions in it, it's still shit. To me, the amalgam is still shit because it's 
his bonus is not worth anything. To me, what that bonus should be is 50%. Not 0.0066%. It should be 50%. <coughs> Three to four months, 20, 20 euro pack. Yeah. If that's what it takes, mate. Uh, yeah. And, and to be honest, with the way the economy is now, you don't need to worry too much about raiding. You can pretty much replace your losses in what? A month? Easy? You can replace some of your losses? Um, yeah. And it is also the time... It is. You do have to try and find a base. And then you've got the 10 minute wait for the auto bubble. So it's just like... Yeah. So, hey Mark, welcome in. Um, so like base rating is like ridiculous. To me, it needs to be 50% of what the base has. You've got your cargo hold. Next incur... Oh, I'm not even going to touch on incursions. <clears throat> the worst bit for me is if they're going to bring it in the end of this month. What have they actually done to it? I really don't know. And I, I, I scarce to imagine what they've actually done to it. So, but no, the amalgam should be 50%. You go in, fill your cargo hold, and then take an extra 50% of whatever's left. Imagine how fast you could drain a base. And I, I you know, exactly, I would. I'd go drain bases. The unspeakable. Oh, yeah, yeah, the incursions, the unspeakable. Absolutely. Um, if I if I had a, a drainer that could drain fifty percent, no, I, I'd go drain. I'd go raiding bases. I mean, if we just go back out a minute, and so on show at the minute, I have got uh, 22, 26, 36, 40, 70, 670.3 billion resources on show right now. I've got no shield up. I'm in territory, so I'm fine. Um, and no, that's not part... A returning player would hate that, I guess, though. Mm, not really. I would say if the returning player, then the chances are they would have expected their base to have been drained by now, uh, by the time they return. So, and that's if the base is still on the map. But... If we actually Wow thirty seven point nine billion dilithium and that's on the enterprise Ark what a uh, Mark four so that's a tier three enterprise with a t for a tier four torpedoes Wow <coughs> that is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now, that's not the Enterprise, is it? That's a battleship. Is that the... Um... Cause it, yeah, cause it. Concunda spell from Harry Potter. Oh, God. Now I'm going to be a noob. I can't remember that spell. Oh. Oh, what a bloody noob. Um. Oh. Uh, Le Quassel. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll, I've got um, Order of Phoenix next to watch. Um. But, yeah. So, that, that is. Re wow. That is mad. Absolutely mad. And those costs as well. 20, tw uh, 21,000 uncommon G G5 ore. 4,000 uncommon crystal. And 34.2 thousand 34, G5 uh, battleship parts. Uncommon battleship parts. Wow. <coughs> hey, Mark. Uh, 
Hey Walter, welcome to the stream, mate. It's at seven thirty-four. Um, if you really want to make base rating thing, it. Yeah, I, Mark, I agree with that idea to a point. However, however, you will find a mass exodus of players. It would be generalized war for starters. But you'd see a mass exodus of free-to-play players leave the game if they lost their materials or latinum. You would see a mass exodus. It is definitely pricey, uh, definitely pricey. Um, shh, three, four, and five at the same time. Bloody hell. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, but... Um, Base raiding, I'd definitely say 50%. But um, that's what that's the line I was going down. So I've got 670,000. <coughs> oh, they absolutely would freak out. Absolutely. Um, I've got 670 uh, billion in my in my hold. Now, just take, for instance, the uh, tier 9 amalgam. Level 45. A play and a player comes to drain, try and drain my base. They are still looking at 40, 40 minutes to potentially. Actually, no, a lot longer than it actually. Eh, probably around about two hours, maybe, to drain me. Two hours. <laughs> <coughs> when the Enterprise got raided in Season 3 of Enterprise, they didn't take three hours to nick off with medical supplies, torpedoes, food stores, antimatter, storage pods. They didn't take two hours to do that. They tried to do it in five minutes. So this is why I say... Six hour raid. <coughs> Well, to be honest with incursions, I did actually have a different idea for incursions. Now, obviously, they've just done a massive a super whale. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not a whale, mate. I'm. I'm nowhere near a whale. Bloody hell, that's nothing. That's nothing nowadays. That's a drop in the water for G4 players. What I've got. So. Um. But yeah, for incursions, I know they've just done a revamp for incursions. But I, before I, I, I did actually put the idea up in my Discord. And then I pulled it down within a few minutes because I thought, hang on a minute. They've just done a revamp of Discord um, incursions. Why don't I give it a go? Oh, Ark is a whale. Yeah, Ark, Ark is definitely a whale. Ah, right, you Ark. <laughs> um... But I thought, give this round of incursions a go. See what it's like. But my idea for incursions, 24 hours is way too long. It's way too long. You get bored. You want to make it competitive. You want to make it snappy. You're a penguin. Stop flapping around, Mark. Stop flapping around. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they should be two hours. Two hours. And to me, it should work is two hours on two days. Hey, Nuts, welcome to the stream, mate. So on day one, you've got two hours, two servers go up against each other. Say, so I'll take like 134 against 135, and that's um, Lube's um, server, who's one of the creators of the officer tool. So say 134 versus 135. <clears throat> so on day one, we all pile on to 134. We have a massive god off for two hours of base raiding, shit combat, the works. And then we have a 22 hour cooldown period. Then the following day, we do another two hour session on 135. So we do it a home and away basis. And then we have that massive fight on server 135 and then add the scores together 
And then the winner is whoever's got the most over the over the two days or the total four hours. Um yeah there was um Rev and DJs did have that um the beta testing but but they were running November's incursions. They weren't running anything new. They were just running November's incursions to make sure that they that all the scoring was working. And I think they actually figured that out it's all working. When the ticket events came on the fleet one was five days. Is it gone? Are you wanna about this one nuts? Yeah. <coughs> Incursions at uh, 24 hours is just, it's just too long. Way too long. Uh, yeah, it, it was. I, I did watch um, Rev's stream and then I did go on to... Um... Bloody hell. Ah, that's a lot of resources raided there. Um, and I, I did go on to uh, DJs for a little bit. And, um, yeah, nuts. I wouldn't worry too much about if it's disappeared because I don't understand why it's been given such a long timer. I mean, to be perfectly honest, right, it, can we actually get it? Yeah. The milestones are not that high. I mean, level up or promote officers. I could do that in a click. It's not exactly... Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think they did. In all honesty, I, I think they did. Um, But, yeah. So, why... I mean, we, we've got it. They they left it up. Um, Yeah, push the wrong button again. But, I mean, if he's been taken down for some players, then... I, It sucks. Yes, it sucks. It's shit. But, there you go. Um, that That's scopely for you. But... For some of us, it's still there. Um, what are we going to get next? Oh, God, ship. You told him he messed up. I, I bet you told him. Um, so, yeah. So, don't worry too much about it. Um, not, it. I've not even bothered with it. Yes, it would be nice for the extra titanium and the extra crystal. But, to be honest, it's... Gas, I actually need the most of. Because if we actually look at this building here, I've only got 2,400 gas. DD do not, did not push that button. And obviously I've got all these guns here that still need upgrading as well. Captain Ahab. <coughs> um, well... I'm not going to mention about Captain Ahab. <coughs> it's done, I guess. Oh, okay. Strange that. <coughs> right, I suppose I better recall him because I need I need that own for. You still got zooming issues. Oh dear. Um, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, the only thing I can say is put a, put a ticket in. That's it. That's literally all I can say. Um, put a ticket in. And um, give and then drop the t um, ticket number into my Discord. And the more I've got, the more I can uh, take up to the NDAs and say, "Look, right, people are complaining about this Zoom bug. They're obviously complaining about it scopely. Is there a chance that we can push it and say, "Look, right, this needs to be dealt with. Here's the ticket numbers. Can we just look into it, please?" But yeah, I say the Zoom bug should. I mean, is it in? 
is it in system view or is it in galaxy view the zoom problem <coughs> I mean my my zoom seems to be relatively all right um have I got extended zoom on mine do, 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 do. Yeah, I've got my extended zoom on. So, both. Yeah, I'd definitely put a ticket in. Then drop your ticket um, numbers into um, Discord for me. And then I'll um, I'll push it up to the NDAs and just say, Look, guys, is there a chance that we can have a look at this? Here's the ticket numbers. The, the zooms are broken. Obviously, um, you can just provide me with a little information about... Um, what device you want? Is it mobile? Is it PC? If it's PC, if it's mobile, what operating system have you got? Uh, when you drag image left or right, it zooms. <coughs> yes, I do know that one, Jerry, because that one happens to me occasionally when it comes to the zoom right out. It happens to me sometimes when I'm when I'm trying to. They already closed the ticket again. Right, did they actually... When they closed the ticket, did they actually... <coughs> Linux, okay. Did they actually say that we're aware of this problem and it's being addressed? Because if that's what they've put, then obviously there's not a lot that we can do. Or better yet, I would just say keep spamming them with it. Just say, look, this problem's still persisting. When's it going to be sorted? So, because they, they do need to get things like this um, sorted out. So, it's not it's not fair for players to sit there and have issues when it comes to Zoom. Okay, Ag, now you're showing off. Now you're showing off, buddy. So, what we got here? We've got a Corsair, Northcourt, Corvus... Enterprise 8 and the Newton. My God. So what you got there? Five ships. Wow. I can't wait to get my seventh dog. In all honesty, tablet and, and mobile. Yeah, uh, I know. In fact, on my tablet, is it can't handle the game anymore. It just can't handle it. Got a vid on DS. Finally, did missions this week. Um, what advice on DS do you need, mate? You got three Novas. Oh, for God's sake! Jeez, three Novas. Uh, yeah, that's what I found, Jerry. Just, it restart the game, but obviously, if it's still persisting with players, then it's something that really does need to be addressed. Scopely really do need to get on top of it. Uh, yeah, Matt, what advice do you need when it comes to deep space, mate? It's just basically open up the systems, get a general idea of... Hey Dave, welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, did any of you win this crazy game yet? <laughs> yeah, uh, not much chance of that one, mate. Uh, not missing off a lot, mate. So just um, just went through the officers briefly. Went through the artifact gallery. Are there any missions worth seeking out? All missions. Just any any missions. <clears throat> yeah, save some bookmarks for systems that you find of importance to you. But yeah. Hey, pets. Hey, don't worry about being late to the show, mate. We've still got about just under an hour to go. So, I mean, we're up to 20 viewers so far. Hey, 2Q. 
You don't think Bogomad is scoring correctly? Ooh. Well, I'll I, I tell you what, let, let's... Um, Because I've not actually... Now, let me think. Let me think. I don't know how many directives I've actually got. Because what we could do... Let me just see how... <laughs> End game. Alright. It's got to scroll all the way down. Forty. Okay, let's see how many shards I'd actually... Okay, so I'm not going to get enough to get two, so I'm not going to waste 49,000, so we'll do one. Is there any particular level that you say is not scoring correctly? Let me just check my crews, make sure I've got the right crews on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, there will be one day, Ark. There will be one day. Where's my Enterprise gone? Here she is. Yeah, if you are, yeah, if you are doing more than farming, then yeah, it is a bit of an issue. So it definitely needs looking into. <coughs> uh, just did a rare 53. Right, I, I can't hit a rare 53 because my Enterprise can't reach it, for starters. And... <coughs> yeah, do need a check up. Um, what what range is this? What? Yeah, I, I've only got two ships. I can actually reach that system, so I've got no hope. Um, but um, is that the system? Forty six. Oh, is it that one? That's the one. Right. So what I'll do is I'll send my ships in. I have to summon the Enterprise in, and it's um, d doing damage for um, doing damage that scores points, doesn't it? So what I'll do is we can have a quick look at this and see. Um, did a couple of 49s, they scored correctly. Ah. There, uh, yes, there is warp research for 44. To extend your warp range, I think I've already done mine. Uh, I think. Let's have a quick look. <coughs> there needs to be other ways to increase your warp range. Uh, yeah, I need to be Ops 46 for the next one. Um, hey, Loop. Um, did you have a good stream, mate? Um, yeah, I don't bother using my Talios. To be honest, my Talios is as much use as a chocolate fire guard uh, when it comes to um, solo murders. Five point six million Saladin. Bloody hell. What <coughs> what am I on with? Uh waiting on my continue to reach fifty three Borgamadas to see if it works this time. Uh, Talios is an excellent ship. Zoom and boom ship. Yeah, I, I I don't like the idea of sending sacrificial lambs. I like to get as many um, kills out of my ship, um, out of the ships all as possible. Oh, 
Oh, what am I chatting about? I am, at the minute, just general stuff. We've had it mentioned by 2Q that um, the level 53 bog uh, rare armadas are not scoring properly. Um, I know you're in the G5 region, mate. Um, would you be able to run a test on your 53s to see if they're actually scoring right for the event? I can't reach the 43, uh, 53s. Well, actually, my, my Valdor and my um, Kelvin can reach them. But I don't have any rare directives. I've just bought um, uncommon directives to uh, uh, run, run a, 40, a 49. All solos only score weaker ships damage. Oh. <coughs> All right. So then I'm sending just for just for pure argument's sake. I've got the Calvin, the Valdor, and the Discovery heading out there, but it will only take the points. From the damage that the discovery will do. Is that is that right? Because that's the way I'm reading that. If I put the discovery in this fight. It's an old bug. Oh, it's an old bug. Oh, dear. Right. So... They obviously are scoring them correctly. It's just the fact that... Yeah. I suppose in a way that they have to actually do take the scoring from one ship. But why? Oh, why? The weakest. Why the weakest? I mean, I... I... <coughs> You want to see that verification? Which verification? Are, are you on about the actual scoring for the Amada event? I mean, I'm quite happy to run the solo Amada. That's not a problem. Punch down it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the weakest ship in this fleet is going to be the Enterprise. Because I will summon the Enterprise in. Um, obviously, because I've only got the one. Um, <coughs> um, yeah, if you could think it's the weakest, then use the Defiant buff with your we with the weapons damage. Yeah, you might be able to score more points that way. Uh, but again, it goes on, if I'm if I'm right, I, I could be wrong. So, Lube, please feel free to correct me if I'm if I'm wrong about this. The weapon's damage is usually pretty much RNG based anyway. So it's going to depend on what it decides who's, who's throwing the dice. It's going to be to whether they got a shot off or not. Um, show the link to why you say that. I don't believe it. You don't believe it, mate. You don't believe it. I, I said that's fine. So uh, we've got the two ships in here. Um, actually, to be honest, weakest ship by power. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm actually going to just throw the discovery in. I'm just going to do a throwaway ship on this one. So, let's have a quick gander. Now, I can't use the SMS because... Right. That's not a bug. That's bad programming. Yeah, it is bad programming. <coughs> I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to dispute that one. Right, so one, two, zero. Six. Eight, two, two. You're on Discord. It is very annoying because it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be like that, right? So we're gonna pick this um, pick 
click on this. Right, first things first though. So my average DPR should be around about 245,000 per round. So I'm not used to doing these math experiments. So, right. <laughs> yeah, share the link. I'm working. Which link do you want, mate? <coughs> <coughs> Oh yeah, it's fixed one one bug and another two will pop up. So, right, let's get rid of all them. But can't stand them out. There's just too many of them. I'm actually kind of curious to see how, how this works. So 250,000 on 45 on top. <coughs> so, right. So, um, I should actually go up. Based on the points I've got in a minute, to roughly 121 million and some change. <coughs> yeah, I mentioned that earlier, Lou, which is actually great news to see that she's actually been fixed. Right, so Disco's gone boom there. You proved on stream tonight. Excellent. Right. I've now got an issue. Because that number there, 120 million, that's the number that I wrote down before the Amada started. So according to this... Let's move myself out of the way. I should be getting two points per hull damage. Can't wait for lagging Thursday when every time your ship is on what? Oh dear. I'm guessing um, Apex Thursday is quite active for you guys. <coughs> okay, so the number I wrote down before the Amada started was one two zero seven eight six eight two two but yet that's the number I've still got there. Hmm What happened here? So according to that then I never actually did any damage to this Amada Or did the, discover did the Discovery not actually get a shot off? No. How? There you go. Discovery never even got a shot off. Oh. I think that definitively proves it's on the weaker ship. I think that definitively proves it's on the weaker ship. Because the Discovery didn't get a bloody shot off. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh my God. But yeah, my Valdor and my Kelvin... Slam this thing to the wall. No, I didn't score any points, nuts. No points whatsoever. Hello there, my name's Luke Capaldi, and you can now listen to my brand new album, Broken by Desire. 
That is very, very sadistic. Yes, Jerry, I would agree with that. That is very, very bad. Oh, my God. It's not lagging, mate. It's definitely not lagging. <coughs> I, I, I tell you what, right? Just on the... Oh, I, I, I really want to rule this lag out. I, I really want to like rule it out. So... My God. What's the score? Exactly the same as I started the Amada. Yeah, that that's not lag. Yeah, it's de it definitely can't be lag. If there's any points added to this now... Let's get rid of that mission. Here we go. Nope. It's definitely not lag. Well, if anything, I've dropped one place. I've gone from 77 to 78. Unfortunately, notice I can't run it again because I don't have any more directive, solo um, directives. I can't even do it with the Gem Hadar. Because I've I got through them this morning. Yeah, five years could be. Wow. What a way to rip players off. Wow. I am actually shocked at that. <coughs> I am actually shocked at that one. <laughs> oh, I didn't doubt you, but it, it's just, it, it's good to actually um, see it fracking up. It's good for me to actually see one of these issues myself, because usually I am so blind to them. It is about the fine print, I will say. Wow. That is bad. That is bad. <coughs> I really cannot believe that. I really can't. It made a huge difference. So it is so is your score correctly now, 2Q. Wow. That is bad. About the same size, yeah. I I definitely agree. So if if I'd have put the enterprise in there. The Enterprise definitely would have scored some points. Because the Enterprise would have survived. No questions about it. Score, scopely math, yeah. So let's send them two home. And then cry about my repair costs. Wow. I'm just actually generally dumbfounded. How Scopely can create an event that would actively screw you over if you put the wrong ship in by accident. <coughs> Do miss ships in the game. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
On the upside, though, hang on. No, Jojo's on the Kelvin. No officers from the Kelvin uh, from the Discovery activated. <coughs> A bad drug. Yeah, you ne you're never getting enough. So let, let, let's just have a quick look at the battle log anyway. <coughs> Plain and simple notes, I ain't going to put a ticket in. If I do, it'll be tomorrow when I've actually, you know, plateaued. <coughs> Beetlejuice, yeah. So, <clears throat> so let's see. So now, if the Calvin had uh, the Valdor had scored, I'd have got at least one point one million put from that shot. <coughs> <coughs> Did my Calvin not fire? I oh, know it's just charging its weapons instead. Uh, that shot gear will give it another million, so that's about two million points. Uh, that's Calvin, Calvin, Valdor. We go the Valdor again, scoring uh, two million in total. Now, now you are sick and shocked, Pegasus. Yeah, uh, never getting enough. That's why you play. Oh, easy fighting. We'll get bored and look for a game. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, definitely a checkup needed. So, five million. Yeah, so it, if my Valdor had actually scored, I'd have probably walked away with probably nearly 10 million points. But, yeah, no. Not going to be the case. But anyway, so. There we've proven, if you, in these events when you're running your solo armadas, the lower ship scores. Night, John. Thank you, uh, thank you for coming to join the stream. So, yeah. To be honest, I don't think it would matter what round I got, because with the discovery going bang straight away. But, yeah. But anyway... There it is. What can you do? Unfortunately, we're all subject to um, the... Uh, let's think. I, I can't even think of a decent word to put on it. <coughs> I literally can't think of a decent word to put on it. It's... Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're all subject to it. We're, we've all got the same issue. Yeah, criminal. That would be a good word. It is criminal. Absolutely criminal. The fact that Scopely decide they're going to put an event together and then cock it up. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely not safe for YouTube. So, I'm, I mean, I already... Um, Cost the mark when it comes to YouTube by using a few profanities. But I, I do try to keep it limited on how many profanities I do use. So anyway, let's go back to some fun. The Delta Adversary. Uh, adversary. Yeah, welcome to Scopely. Hardship gets you to be better. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, can you just drop that in Alliance chat for us as well? At least let our Alliance know. Uh, for the Amada event and doing solos, make sure you use... Uh, don't use a Discovery. Because you won't score. At least then the ones through the night will actually get, get hold of that. But anyway, that, back to the Delta Adversary. Now, to me, this has been... An actually pretty good event. 
<coughs> going through, working out where all these maps are. And as somebody pointed out, um, as well in one of Rev's streams, if you've got a high def or 4K um, screen. All oh, right, okay, no worries, mate. Um, you'll be able to see around the rim, there's actually a pile of numbers, which is basically your compass, really. So I need to use one ship. Yeah, you can use one ship, but make sure the ship you use can easily take on the solo armada on its own. Yeah, fine, if you're going to get blown up, you're going to get blown up, but make sure it's not one that punches hard <coughs> against your ship. You want to be able to at least make sure that you last a few rounds. At least. Um, so yeah, well yeah, you can use one ship, or just make sure you don't use um, a two weaker ships, uh, a, a, any extremely weak ships like I just did. Um, but yeah, so down to adversary. adversary. <coughs> wow, is that a six billion one there? Wow, Northcott and Coyzer took some serious damage there, mate. How quick did your Talios last? Uh, how long did your Talios last, though? Because I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't... Oh, it's an Epic as well you took on. Nice. <coughs> Biggest in the game. Yeah. Uh, which ship in the Armada was struck first? Um, the weakest, I think. Uh, in mine, the weakest ship was hit first. So the Discovery just went boom. But then again, the Discovery is a paper ship, so. But yeah. So, but yeah, so doing this, it did require you to actually know your maps. And, oh, your map layouts and everything. But as well, if you actually did notice, and I didn't even notice this when I uh, did the video for the first three. It was pointed out in Rev, Rev Juice's night stream. Night, Jerry. Thank you for joining us. Um, <coughs> there is numbers, and obviously, you can actually clearly, it will show you that the um, thing has been rotated. Now, I did realise that there was a rotation on it when I looked at the second one. I'm thinking... Yeah, that doesn't fit anything that I know of in map. But when when somebody pointed out it was Ferengina, I went back and looked at it and I just thought that that's been rotated. That has actually been rotated. So for me, this was actually a fairly good challenge to actually figure it out. And obviously, when it came to the second round, I just went ahead and I, I actually figured all these out first, which it was targeted first. Oh, which ship hit the target first? My Valdor hit it first, my strongest. But again, like I said, it can be RNG based. Um, I think my Discovery might have had a chance to get a shot off. If the... Um, oh, if you're on about if the t um, who fired the first shot, it was actually the Amato that fired the first shot. So, but... We'll, we'll come back round to that if we've got time a bit later on. Um, but yeah, so I went off and, and did these. And data map f um, 4 did give me a little bit of a challenge. And so I figured, hang on, two triangles together? Yeah, I know one. Biggest hits first, yeah. <coughs> and then the second one, I recognised that one straight away because of the gap between the two systems. My Valdor struck first, my big ship. <laughs> C 
So the first one who fired was the bog sphere itself. And obviously that aimed straight at the weakest ship. Then my Valdor came in, opened fire and landed two direct hits on it. Um, wow, my mitigation stats for that was actually flipping low. Wow. That's like mitigated like three quarters of my weapon damage. Jesus Christ, that, that's actually quite quite a lot. But yeah, so my Valdor came in, fired first, and then obviously when he got to the second round, the Valdor fired, and then the Kelvin decided to have a pop at it as well. So... <coughs> hopefully that will help, help you there. Nuts... So, now, like I said, Delta Pad 5, that, that was actually quite easy for me to actually figure out. And then, obviously, I had to go over, and then, um, when you actually got this one up, it was actually mentioned in here, uh, in this bottom paragraph, that obviously you had to go choose which one it was, but you had to go to the event store to do it. Now, for some peculiar reason, for, I don't know why, they did not highlight event store. Because a lot of players are like, well, where do I need to go here? Where, where, do, where, do, where do I need to go? The event store. So, now, obviously, it's not up at the minute. Um, because I've already chosen mine. So, ta-da! It's not there. I went diplomacy, because I'm a lazy-ass git. It'll just be nice and easy for me to click some officer XP, jobs are good and <coughs> but then there was an extra bit as well in the event store where you scored to the other end to actually claim some officer, officer trait XP, 100 of, whee, and then obviously that completed that. Obviously we'll get back on Saturday for the rest of it, where I really can't wait to see what events I'm going to get. Now, the type of events that you could potentially be facing are... Located in these top, um, if I'm moving to the bottom, so they're actually in line with me, is these bottom two paragraphs here. <coughs> so for me, oh no, sorry, it's, it's actually those two up there. So for me, I'm going to expect some events tailored around me officers to do with the station, away team assignments, and gathering some resources. So I really can't wait to see what events they're actually going to kick out for me on that one. Now, for those who go for the offense, obviously you're going to be dealing with sh things around your ships, research, and basically PVE armadas in the Delta Quadrant. Now, what put me off on going for the Delta Quadrant for the offense one was the Delta Quadrant side, because <coughs> the only armadas in the Delta Quadrant is the formation armadas. And they can be a pain in the backside to sort out. It's like earlier in, early, um, a few hours ago, someone in our alliance, a level 34 player, started a formation around it, but he never said anything to anybody. So obviously a couple of us jumped in and started the other two so we could make sure that we actually completed the whole thing. Um, and it just seems, yeah, I just thought I, I really can't be dealing with uh, formation managers. If I'm online and people are running them, I'll send ships to help out and, yeah, just help out with them. But trying to organise one myself, I really cannot be bothered right uh, this week. And, yeah. So I just thought the easiest one for me to go with, and because I am a lazy ass git, go for the diplomacy. I'll be kind of sh um, shitting kittens if I end up with station stuff because I don't do an awful lot to my station. I, I like to take my time with that. So, but gathering resources, yeah, okay, fine. Bit of mining. Away team assignments, I can save a few assignments up. 
<coughs> and get them claimed. Now, as long as I don't have to use specific officers, we'll be fine. Too much work. Yeah. The formation matters are basically too much work. They, they're a great concept, a great idea. But yeah, definitely too much work to try and sort out. And now the timers have been reduced to 10 minutes, which is good. It's good. But... Yeah, it's, they are what they are at the minute. I mean, they're far better than the expansion cubes. I'll, I'll say that straight out. They're far better than the expansion cubes. But I'll see if I can figure something else to say about these formation matters. I'm ready for the, um, oh, the, brrr, the grading video at the weekend. <coughs> so, but yeah. So that that's what you got so that's what you got coming up. Hopefully everyone will enjoy it. I mean I'm actually looking forward to see what I actually get. I know I've got an idea now what I could potentially be getting. Whew. Which will be a few yawns. Um so right, let's get that changed over. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Right, what's my protected cargo on this thing? 267,000, that's fine. So, now, I did say that um, I've gone Romney and Champion, and I'll show you that. And, obviously, I've cut a, a lot of stuff out of my um, gameplay now, just basically because I need to sort out my Klingon rep. So, as you can see here, Federation of Romney, uh, points to Distinguished is what's next. Celebrated is going to be for the Klingons. The way I'm dealing with that at the minute is going killing traders in Romulus. You can steal mats from OPC. Yeah, that's raw mats. Raw mats don't get you very, very far, except for the refinery. What you could ideally do with is things like uncommons and everything. But, yeah. So... Obviously, because I'm building up the Klingon reputation, I need to think of where I need to sacrifice um, certain things in order to help get that reputation up. Now, the first place that, you, that you'll that you need to think about um, sacrificing is these daily events. And because in here, you're going to be looking at around about 3 million reputation You score any events? No. In the offensive, there was nothing mentioned about PvP. Nothing mentioned. <coughs> it was hostiles and amadas in the Delta Quadrant. So it's all going to be PvE centered. So, yeah. But if you wanted to, if you've obviously got like two uh, reputations at champion and you wanted to build up that third reputation, third faction, you literally have to stop doing everything to do with the other two factions because you're basically going to lose a lot. Now, you can clearly see how much reputation here I would gain with the Romulans. But at the same time, Look how much I'm losing from the Klingons. You also Diplo. Yeah, I say Diplo's easy, but yeah, you've basically just basically basically been lazy. I am. I'll freely admit it. I hold my hands up. I'm lazy. 
<coughs> but then again, running around after a three-year-old all day is towering enough. But yeah, so if you gathering intel. Oh, uh, well, yeah, because of the four miners, yeah. Uh, we'll look at the intel in a moment, Nuts. Um, but yeah, so I'm losing just under a million reputation for the Klingons. Just on this alone. Now, if you add up all four milestones. And then, yeah, dot your materials, yeah. And then obviously you look at the Federation one, exact, which is exactly the same. And then if you go over, get the buttons pressed. This is where PC will come in absolute handy. And go to your dailies. You'll see the combat for both factions and the mining I've not done. But when you add up how much Cleon reputation you lose between all these different sources, <coughs> at current, I would be losing 7 million Klingon reputation per day. So I've had to make some choices. Do I want to actually build up the reputation with the Klingons? Or do I want to keep it stagnant? Now, I could keep it down. Not a problem. But then I'm adding that I've got to go mining for everything. And you know, I'm actually sat here thinking, is it worth me actually, you know, trying to raise that Klingon reputation? <coughs> now, the downside is, if I don't raise that Klingon reputation... What am I going to do for the next God knows how long before I get to level 50? Which could be a couple of years. I've got to try and finally balance the Klingons and the, so the Romulans and the Federation so they don't get too high. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it from a different perspective. But if you actually did want to try and get the Trilock at champion you do literally need to stop everything to do with the other two factions why which bit which bit arc i'm actually curious to know which what you mean by why Because if you wanted to build up your clear reputation, like I said, using lock them and use freebooters. Um, yeah, you could use the freebooters. Um, I haven't got them those bits unlocked yet, though. Um, but if you wanted to build up your clear reputation, then losing seven million a day, when in return I'm only getting less than a million. So I mean, if we if we look if we go back to my Klingon faction for a minute, <coughs> seven seven million will clear that out in three days. But I'm only gaining around about a million a day, including grinding. Now grinding, I can probably add an extra three or four million. But you can't do all three at the same time. No, you can't. And that's where I've actually hit a problem. Because while, while you're lower level, it's easy to do all three factions eventually. But as you get in further on, it's very harder to... It's, it's a lot harder to try and keep all three level. Now, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, I did one at a time, triple one bill lock, then just go ham and collect all. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Lou. Is try and get my clean reputation up to that one billion lock so I've got all three. 
<coughs> um, I don't even worry about that. Too much work. I went triple lock and just built up the credits, collecting recruiting tokens. Yeah. But you can lock at one billet and take one or two up. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was thinking, um, Lube. It's just ignore the Klingon Romulan Federations um, for a while. But the problem is, what I've thought about based on the reputation levels is how far up do I need to go before I start breaking even? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Ark, as well. Is get get all three up locked to one billion, and then work on the way getting the fifteen billion sorted out for two. So it's like I'd probably end up going back to it in the Klingons. Now, yet yeah, on the other hand, I I could just leave the Klingons behind and not worry about the Klingons. But then, is that a sensible thing to do? Yeah. If credits are what you're worried about, focus on the ATAs. Yeah. Yeah, I can certainly do that one. Focus on the ATAs for them. Start all over again. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I, I have had that thought several times about starting the game all over again. But it's like I've I've already spent s some money on on this account. Do I really want to risk losing this? If I start another account, then obviously this one's going to be laid dormant for a while, so it's going to end up getting drained. I don't really want to waste all those resources. You should get your first one billion by level forty-five. It's not a bad idea. I think I was level 42 <coughs> when I got my first 1 billion. That was Federation. Obviously, I'm 44 now, and I've got two I've got two locked at the 1 billion. So now I've just got to work on these guys. So, yeah. But the question is, how long am I going to be sat trying to work my way work my way up to break even? Because looking at the what you'd get, so what Cleon reputation I'd lose if I so much as even touched the other two, one of the other two outweighs what I'd actually gain for the Cleons. Now, yes, ATAs is a way to go to get the credits if you want the credits, which I do because I want to get my Newton when I get to forty six. But yeah. My mind's just having a right old uh, blog freeze at the minute. <coughs> so, but yeah, so I, I, I am going to be working on my clear reputation for a while. And obviously it does mean that you have to sacrifice a lot. Um, But there are, as Lube's already said, there are other ways to gain your reputation, um, gain some credits as well. Um, You've got the away teams, as you can see, I've got a couple in here. So I've got the right... Arbiter of Succession, so I could go for that one. Ooh, Collective Bargaining's here. This one's always a good one to go for. All right, let's get these um, put in. Right. I'm missing somebody. All right. What? What on earth has just happened here? <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Lou. <coughs> yeah, I, th I thought I'd call, um, just call this back. Sign officers. I need him off. 
All right, now I'll send that back out there. So let's go do that collective bargaining. Right, still got my things in, so. Um, yeah, it's all, all three, isn't it? Right, is there a chance that I can actually take the level 50 reds? Yeah, but how many how many of those level fifties have I actually got to hit? <coughs> oh, great lags kicking in. Oh, just what we need. Yeah, you tell it no. You tell it no. Oh, yeah, I keep thinking about getting a PC, but it's just getting the money together. Yes, I am seriously contemplating Twitch, uh, but it's when I can actually squeeze in Twitch's... Um, Uh, went went to squeeze in the Twitch streams. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I get a, a ton of them. Right. Level up trait. Right. So that's telling me I haven't got enough, but yeah, I've got 11,000 in the pot. I need 7,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've definitely been sorting. I've made sure that's as high as I can possibly get it. So I, I think there might be... No, hang on, have I got... Cling on side of things. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's a cling on side of things. Right, why is he saying I haven't got enough when I've clearly got enough? <coughs> Bloody thing. Right, so let's just apply. And I want health. Right, so what's that got me? <coughs> 827,000 in Hertz. That's going to be a lovely one in two days. That's almost a full grind. Oh, I've got some nice Latinum ones as well. So, right, I'll sort all them out shortly. So, but anyway, so we're approaching midnight here in the UK. So, obviously, we're nearly at the end of the stream. Nearly at two and a half hours. So, let's get that claimed. So, yeah. Is there anything anyone else wants to discuss or me, me to go over? I mean, feel free to ask and obviously I will go over it. If I've got the knowledge. <coughs> Ooh, one right in front of me. Nice. <laughs> okay so right well in that case then what we're going to do is we're going to end the stream there um obviously we've been out for two and a half hours so i do uh thank you everyone for coming to join the stream and the show tonight um you did a solo a minute ago mark Did you have any better luck than I had? <laughs> Not weaker ship counts. King's underwear size. Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask his missus for that one. <coughs> <coughs> so.
so but I'm not going to mention too much about the royal family. I'm not a big fan of theirs, but they're a, they're a popular tourist attraction. Second strongest. Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting one. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that's it for tonight then. Uh, it's now midnight. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. If you obviously uh, like to donate to the channel, please feel free. The links are in the um, live stream's description. Um, in the links below. PayPal or Cash App. All, all donations are greatly received. And thank you very much. Obviously, the, uh, at the minute, the kind of will be going to help in the family. So uh, I'm not even going to mention that. Uh, I'm not even going to touch on that because I don't want to get censored and um, probably thrown in the Tower of London for saying something. Ah, right. Okay. So, yeah. So if you do want to donate, then please thank, thank you very much. Uh, Discord link is also available as well. Um, is there a system? Hey Sam, uh, is there a system like Tiger Core for Fed and Volume Systems? Unfortunately, no, there isn't. Tiger Core is a one of a kind system, and it's the only one available. So, sorry to say, the closest you're going to get, <coughs> unfortunately, is going to be the Capital Systems. Yet yeah, Romulus, uh, Romulus, Kronos, and Soul. But that's about it. But anyway, thank you everyone for joining the stream. Stay safe, live long and prosper. I'm Admiral Pegasus. This is the Pegasus Show, live with Star Trek Fleet Command. Good night.